Hey guys, my name is Dave, this is Custom Spray Mods, and it's the 3rd of April 2020, and you probably heard what's going on out there. There's a crazy virus going around that's killing people and making everyone sick. So just thought um, I'd mention that and hope you're staying safe and you're all right and you can do some work from home. So I thought I'd make a video. Um, I've seen this car. Uh, it's got some damage on the front fender. I thought I'd fix it and show you how to do it. I'm just going to use spray cans, so it's complete DIY. You can do it from home. Um, yeah, hopefully you can order some spray cans online, get them sent to you. Uh, and I hope you're not going out in public and, you know, you might spread this thing or catch it. So just make sure you stay inside, order your stuff online, and hopefully you can get the gear you need to fix your car and spend some time um, doing something productive. So yeah, today I'm going to fix this front fender and I'll show you how to do it with aerosol cans. Let's get into it. Okay, as you can see, it's like it's got a scratch, a deep scratch that you can actually feel your fingernail, and that goes all the way along here. Uh, it's also got some paint flaking, so the clear coat has kind of flaked up here, and someone's tried to spray it with an aerosol can just to cover it up. Um, obviously, as I mentioned in my previous videos, paint does not cover, so we need to sand this smooth, and we need to sand this scratch out, and then we can continue on our next step. So I'm gonna use 120 grit sandpaper, sand that out, and then we can keep moving. Okay, so this is the scratch here. This is 120 grit sandpaper um, on a block. And I'm just gonna use that to smooth out the area. Be able to see that there. There is where I've sanded, and here the scratch is still there. So I need to keep sanding until that scratch is completely out. So over here, the, the scratch is pretty much sanded out. Over here, I have to keep sanding. Okay, now I've got 240 grit sandpaper. And because I'm going to spray primer on this, I can't just put primer over the 120 grit sandpaper. I need to sand it with 240 grit, then I can put primer. So primer really needs to go over 240 grit. So I've got to sand a li little bit larger. Now I'm just going to mask up all the surrounding panels and then I'll be ready for my primer. Before I spray the primer, I'm going to sand the area with some scuffing paste and gray scotch bright and then just uh, do that around the area that I've sanded with 240 grit. This just cleans the area and also provides adhesion for any primer that goes over the area that I've sanded. I'm also going to spray on some wax and grease remover and wipe it clean. Then I'll be ready for my primer. Okay, now I'm going to spray some high build primer. Now, this says bumper primer, but it works on a painted surface as well. So it's fine for that. It's a good filler. It's important to keep the can moving and overlap your passes by 50%. Also keep a good distance away from the panel to make sure you get a nice wet coat over the repaired area. I've sprayed three coats of the primer filler. Now I'm going to spray some guide coat and then I'll be ready to start sanding. 
Guide coat is any kind of paint. Generally, it's a contrasting color. So in this case, I'm using black. It's just gonna help me sand the area. If there's still parts that aren't sanded, it'll still have black there. I'm using 600 grit wet sandpaper and water and make sure you really sand this thoroughly, use a block and get all that guide coat off. Now I'm going to use the scuffing paste and the grey scuffing pads and basically sand the rest of the panel. This is going to make the clear flat and it's going to help the new colour stick and the new clear stick to the original finish. Now it's time to mask up the surrounding panels, basically mask up anything you don't want paint or clear coat to get onto and it's a good idea to also make sure your area is nice and clean and dust free and your inner area where it's not going to be too windy or you're going to get any contamination on the paint. Okay so I've got the car all masked up and ready to paint the base coat. Um, so now I just need to get my colour. Now you can get the colour from a paint shop, um, you can get it from here at VG Auto Paints. Basically give us the paint code and we mix it up and pump it into an aerosol can. You can also order that online and we can send it directly to you. Uh, so yeah, basically we would mix it up. Use this machine to pump the colour into the can, so that goes on there. Paint goes into there. Then we put that into this system here. Put that down and then shut that. And then that will basically push the paint into the tin so we can have any colour in a can. So you can get the 2K base coat, which doesn't need hardener. And all these colours here, we use the scales to mix it up. That's how you get your colour in a can. So I've done that, now we're ready to spray. I'm going to clean with some wax and grease remover and I can start spraying the base coat. I'm ready to spray my base coat, I'm going to clean it with wax and grease remover and wipe it dry. You don't want to clean it with something like terps or thinners because that can leave a residue and possibly get a reaction with your paint. So try and use wax and grease remover or an isopropyl alcohol. Remember to overlap your passes by 50%, wait 10 minutes between coats and also make sure you cover the area with paint completely. So make sure you get enough coats on there to cover the primer. Sometimes you can put your clear coat on and you'll notice you haven't covered the primer properly. So it's always a good idea to put an extra coat of paint if you're not too sure. You'll also notice that I'm not sanding between coats. You don't need to sand between coats unless you get some kind of contamination there like a bit of hair or dust. If you do, you can sand it again with 600 and then spray another coat of base coat. Okay, so I've sprayed the base coat and as you can see, the repair has been covered with paint and I've blended it so yeah, there is no new paint here. This is the old paint. The new paint's blended around here. So now I'm going to clear coat the whole panel because if I just clear coat like there and there, then you'll see a line of clear coat. So I'm going to clear coat the whole panel and you're not going to notice any difference in that clear. Okay, now I'm ready to spray the clear coat. Uh, I've sprayed four coats of base coat. Now I'm ready to spray the clear coat. And there's a few different types of clear you can use, especially in aerosol cans. So there's the cheaper version, which this is $15. Um, it's 1K acrylic clear. So there is no hardener. It's basically air dry and it it doesn't really have a uh, extremely like shiny finish. It's not like the original finish of the car. Uh, to get the nice finish, same as a car, you need to sand it and buff it. And you have to leave it a few days before you start doing that. So that's the cheaper clear. 
um, $15. You have the 1K acrylic clear that's high gloss. Now this is a lot better gloss than the $15 clear. This is about 40 bucks for this can. Um, and it dries really shiny. I like to use this on headlights, uh, but it's still not as glossy as an original finish on a car. So this is good, not as good as the like a 2K clear, uh, but still really shiny. Um, it's a lot safer because it doesn't use hardener. So yeah, it might be an option for you. Um, but today I'm going to use the 2K clear in a can. There's a new one we have here. Um, it's available, I know it's available in the UK. I'm not sure if it's available in USA uh, or other countries, but it's available here as well in Australia. Um, this is the Pro XL 2K Clear. Now this has hardener in the tin. And so basically before you use it, you have to activate it by pulling this little rod here. And uh, that will activate the hardener and the clear. Shake it up and you're ready to spray it. Now once you activate it, you only have about three or four days, maybe a week or two, before it goes hard inside the can. So this is a one-time thing. Um, it's $45, so here in Australia it's $45. So it's a pretty good option. Um, it's gonna give you a nice shiny finish, just like the original finish of a car. Great for wheels, body panels. You can also do headlights with this. Uh, it's a great option, so I'm gonna use that today. Okay, so I'm ready to activate the can. All I do is pull off this little cap at the bottom and at the, end, at the base of this cap there is a ring. Pull the ring off and you feed that through this little hole that is in the base of the can. So I've got my ring down there like that. Now I pull that. Now the hardener has been activated. I can start shaking it up. And then I'll be ready to spray. Again, I'm spraying three or four coats, waiting 10 minutes between coats, overlapping by 50%, keeping the can a good distance from the panel. I'm not too far away, I'm not too close, getting a nice wet coat of paint on there, and uh, yeah, that's hopefully gonna look good. Now I've got these lines to these stripes, you can see these stripes here, that's just the solvents drying. Uh, once that clear dries, they will completely disappear. So, yeah, not too worried about that. Looking pretty good. Okay, so that's all painted. It's pretty dry. Yep, I can, I can touch it, so it's dry. I'm gonna start unmasking that. It's pretty good. You can't see that repair anymore. Well, there you go. I hope you liked that video. I hope it can help you if you've got some kind of damage on your car. Um, just got to remember a few things. Basically, make sure you sand with the correct grits. Never paint your panels edge to edge, so always try and blend your paint. Um, you know, get your clear coat nice and even, and uh, yeah, choose your, choose your clear coats to suit the base coat, and um, yeah, make sure you buff it. If you use the cheaper clear, Make sure you sand it and buff it. I've got another video on that using the cheap clear. I'll put the link in the description so you can check that out. Basically, I do exactly the same thing, but use the $15 clear, and you can see how to get that looking just as good as an original finish. So yeah, I did have a lesson tomorrow. We do free lessons here at VG Auto Paints. Lesson was due for tomorrow, but obviously we can't have gatherings anymore because of the virus, so going to we've canceled that. So yeah, um, this video basically kind of goes over what we do in the lesson. So um, yeah, if you couldn't make it tomorrow, then hopefully you can watch this, get some ideas. Otherwise, send us a message um, on, on our Facebook page, customspraymods.com.au or customspraymods on Facebook, and um, I'll try and answer any questions you have. Otherwise, check out the videos because there's heaps of info in them. And uh, yeah, again, if you want to buy this stuff, if you're in Sydney or Australia, you can go on customspraymods.com.au or vgautopaints.com.au and uh, you can order this stuff, get it sent to you and do the job at home. So, hope you liked it. See you next time.